Guess which genius recorded an entire makeup video with the microphone off? Me. So just in case you were wondering, things are going great over here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you will miss nothing coming from the channel. I have no idea what I'm talking about here, but like subscribe. Okay, thanks so much. I know my brows are a little dark. I ran out of my brow pencil, so I used lip liner and I don't hate it. It is a little dark. I know y'all hate it, but it's not really going to matter. You'll see. Here is my primer from Pat McGrath. Amazing. Highly recommend. Here's my rose water. Clearly, I'm struggling to read, but that is my rose water also from Pat McGrath. And here is my foundation in 24 from Pat McGrath. Here's the rose water again. Clearly, I really enjoy it. So, like, go pick some up. It's kind of expensive, but you get a lot and should last you, like, forever. All right. So, now I am highlighting in my Pat McGrath concealer in 20. Hitting all the hot spots. Now we're blending it out. Don't let the speed up fool you. Blending out is like a process, not specifically with this kind because it blends pretty well when you use all Pat McGrath products, but some people get confused. I probably spend too much time blending because my biggest fear is somebody be like, you're not even blended. I don't, it's very irrational, but I don't know. One of my fears, but here I am blending, blending, blending my life away and this is like sped up so you know i spent a while all right on to setting powder i use minted in my tan light apparently baking is not what we do anymore so i just put it on take it right back off i did wait a, a few seconds make sure everything is everything All right, heading on into our contour, I am using a Fenty contour stick in the color Espresso. Now we're buffing it out. This takes a little bit less time, but not really. Buffing, buffing, buffing. Still buffing. Gotta make sure you don't look crazy. Look at my parts. Like, she did that. I hadn't really noticed them before. Anyway, we're about to apply some of my minted setting powder in between my contour, between the cheek contour and the jawline to kind of shape the face a little bit. Swipe, swipe, uh, swipe some more. Um, always putting on too much product. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Right, and that will shape your face later on. Now let's let that sit for just a tad bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and get that off of there. Wipey, wipey. Wipey, wipey. Now that is like hard to get off. I don't know why. Okay, jeez. What's next, girl? Let, let's go. All right. This is our lid primer. I had a white lid primer and a medium lid primer. And initially, I was going to put white on one and medium on the other to see which one looks the best. But I kind of changed my mind and ended up doing white on both because I felt like it would pick up the color better oh i'm doing those colorful brows that y'all be seeing on ig if y'all were wondering this took a sharp left out of nowhere but anywho this is me filling in the rest of the brow with the lid primer and white now this took a long time it was kind of ridiculous i feel like i put too much on as usual but this took a while and I was being pretty, um, what's the word? Anal about getting the brows right. 
Now I decided to let that dry down a bit before I put in the color. So I went ahead and put on some Fenty blush. I have forgotten the name of it, but it's on from the cream line. So like, yeah, blend that out, blend it out, blend it out. It's very subtle. The amount I put on, cause it's kind of sticky and weird. So here I am searching for which palette I want to use. I knew going into it that I wanted to do a purple brow that kind of fades into pink. So my Ace Beauty palettes have those really vibrant colors. So I was just kind of looking through those. And I landed on the Slice of Paradise palette from Ace Beauty. Highly recommend. Lots of vibrant colors. Why am I making that face? Um, that's the brush I'm going to use very small so I can get in between my brows. My forehead looks kind of big. Hmm. I have to get a bang. Anyway, um, this is me getting the purple color and we're starting to fill. This was very difficult to put on I think it was still a little too wet at this point um but it was like the white was kind of bleeding through and I had to cake a whole bunch of color on there so yeah it was a little rough in the beginning all right since it was being weird I decided to let it dry down some more and work on my lids now since i was doing a purple and pink brow i was like let's go a little chill on the lid gotta get in there i might need glasses because i'll be struggling to see sometimes but anyway always blend out your primer on your lids I forgot to contour my nose as I frequently do. So I'll just contour that real quick, buff it out. All right, and that is supposed to be my highlight, but it's the wrong palette. So get the right one, which is the Ace Beauty, not Ace Beauty, Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Palette. I'm going to take some Queen Being and just put it on the bridge of my nose to make that contour pop a little bit. As always, we're going to dip into some, that was Fenty. What is the name of it? Trophy Wife on the tip of my nose there. So as I said, I was going to go a little subtle on the lid. So that is my minted everyday palette. Got that tan color there. It's pretty much my skin tone. So we're just going to throw that on the lids for now. Always make sure you blend. All right, so my brows have dried down enough. It was slightly easier after it dried down, but if you're going to do it, I would say put the least amount of primer on your brow that you can because too much, it starts to bleed through and it's just a mess. So here we're going in with the purple for both sides. And as always, don't let the speed up fool you. This took forever. Like, 
it was a mess. Clean it up a little. Now we're going into our pink to finish out the brow. I kind of feel like I should have put pink in the front and then purple at the end. Maybe I'll try that next time. If there is a next time, this, like I said, took forever. Y'all like blending them together there to get more of a smooth transition. It, they did not really blend very well. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as blended as I, as I would like it to be. But I still liked it. Now, this is my white eyeliner. My eyes are a little squinty, so I feel like white kind of opens them up just a bit. And it's pretty when you're doing like other colors, you know? So that is my Pat McGrath palette. Shout out to my good friend, Brittany. She bought this for me. I love this palette. Everything's pigmented. It blends beautifully. I decided to go ahead and put like a pinkish goldish shimmer on the lid. Because the eyebrows are doing a lot, but they're not doing as much as I thought they were going to do. So I was like, let's spruce the lids up just a touch. So this is me blending in the color. I also decided to put the purple that's in the front of my brow in the corner of my eyes just to kind of put the look all together. And then I'm going to blend it out just a little bit so it's not such harsh lines. Mm, love it. All right, time for some mascara. My lashes are janky and they go every way, every direction besides the direction they're supposed to be going in. So before I put my lashes on, I just like to put on some mascara to kind of get them going all in the same direction. Those lashes are Calypso from Ace Beauty. I love their lashes. I need to go get some more. I suggest you do the same. Look at that. I swear there was a time where I thought I would never be able to put on lashes. All right, so again, I wanted to go subtle on the lips. So I just did a minted pink lip liner and some glass slipper by Fenty, but it wasn't giving enough for me. So I did add some purple lip gloss. I'll stick a picture in there so y'all can see. And we're finishing off with our Fenty Refreshing Spray. Way too much, I know. What are you going to do, fight me? So this is the end result. What do y'all think? Like it? Love it? Hate it? I personally love it. The brows, while they took forever, I think they're nice. I think they are great for like a special occasion, something like that. So like, definitely do it. Don't put... An extreme amount of primer on your brow, but I say give it a try. Not sure what I'm talking about here, but uh, we're coming to the end of the video. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you get out of here, as well as the notification bell. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Hopefully the microphone will be on, or I could just do another voiceover. This is kind of fun. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye. Subscribe.